Next, please take a look at this. Oh my god, Hello don't there. do this to I'm me. I'm Eiji Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. I'm sure a lot of you saw me and thought there might be news about the sequel to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game. Say yes. Unfortunately, we don't have anything oh. to share right now. No! We apologize. Oh, Development no. is proceeding smoothly, and we should be able to bring you some new information this year. For this is going to be E3. We'll have to ask you to wait we just won't a see it until E3, or not E3 necessarily, but that maybe the anniversary waiting, direct. However, this Legend of Zelda game will be coming to Nintendo Switch. Skyward Sword, here we Please go. Please take a look. Skyward Sword. There it is. Here we go. We all knew it was coming. It was only a matter of time. Please tell me that there's traditional controls though in this. I'm actually really hyped for this. Hell yeah, it's about time. What you've just seen is The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. This game originally released in 2011 on the Wii console, and now it's coming to Nintendo Switch. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword featured a control scheme in which players would use the Wii Remote Plus controller as a sword and the Nunchuck controller as a shield. With the increased processing power of the Nintendo Switch system, the controls here are smoother and even more intuitive. And we've recreated the controls for the sword and the shield here by having please, the player hold please two Please tell me there's traditional controls though, please. The Joy-Con controller in your right hand is the sword. Swing it to have Link swing his sword in the game. The Joy-Con controller in your left hand is the shield. By lifting the controller, you can raise the shield to block enemy attacks. You can perform other actions like using both controllers to wield a bow and arrow. These physical movements add a sense of urgency and tension to combat. But we've also made it possible to play the game with button controls to ensure- There we go! There we go! That's what I wanted! Yes! Light system. After Big win! Over how to That's assign a huge win for this game. Elements to different buttons, because those- I, Like, I didn't mind the, the motion controls, the right but control that stick. divided the audience. People did not play this for that reason. Tilt the stick down when you want to swing the sword downward. To swing to the right, to the left, or diagonally, just tilt the stick in the respective direction. And they did it just like Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, how I thought they would with the analog. Here's something else we've been working on. Specially designed Joy-Con controller. I called it Zelda Joy-Cons right in my anniversary. The controller is themed yeah. after the Master Sword, while That's the awesome. left features a Hylian Shield motif. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, as the game depicting the earliest story in the Legend of Zelda timeline, details the events around the creation of the Master Sword itself. We hope that people who played the original game on Wii, and those playing it for the first time, will enjoy discovering the origins of The Legend of Zelda. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD launches July 16th. Following this Nintendo Direct, you'll be able to pre-order the game on Nintendo eShop. And the specially designed Joy-Con controllers will launch on the game's release date at your local retailers. Many of you may already know this, but The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword was the last original console game prior to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game, and it was still following the established conventions of The Legend of Zelda. However, it gave a glimpse into many features and innovations that would eventually be adopted in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Using the sailcloth to descend in midair, a stamina gauge that depleted as you scaled walls with vines or ran. Even the concept of collecting items to upgrade gear. I hope those of you who've played The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild will give this game a try as well. I'm really excited to play this again. It has some stuff Please in it that I don't care for, but Zelda the Skyward story Sword is like by far the best in the series. Doing. I still have tons more videos that you need to check out right now. You can start with this one or this one. Oh, and uh, don't forget to subscribe.